They're giving us things we didn't ask for. We didn't ask for that out train. We never asked for it. We didn't ask for the full scalp. We got our own scalp. That's one thing I do have of my own is my scalp. I didn't need a full scalp. Hey you guys, so before we get into the wig review today, I wanted to remind you guys to don't forget to go over and um, follow me on Instagram. I am trying to get to 1K. I think I'm at like 8 something when I filmed this one. It was at 875. So we got about 100, 125 more to go. So if you guys don't mind, please go over and give me a follow. I appreciate it. Thank you in advance. So let's get into the wig. Welcome back. Welcome back. So the wig we have today is from Outrek. It is Laurel. Um, it's from the Perfect Hairline. The color I have is... um. I'm gonna be the DR2, and I wanna say it is the um, ginger brown. I have this wig in another color from them, and it is just gorgeous. That's why I got it. So it comes with a faux scalp, it comes with HD lace, you know, it's heat safe, yada, yada, yada. The thing with this one is that faux scalp, girl, it had to go. So this is the front of it. Um, you get that beautiful dark root, and you get the curls. Can we give it up for this ginger brown? I absolutely love it. So the curls, I love. I love the color of the hair. The knots are not that bad. Like I said, it was just that faux scalp. I did have to go in, and you will see. I just had to cut that out. So it's really easy to cut out. As you can see it there, you just go in with a pair of scissors and cut it out, um, and it, it just rips right out and then you're left with the lace now you do get two combs on this comb in the back um you do get a strap in it the strap isn't adjustable i guess it's just there for decoration because it doesn't really help so as you guys can see once i cut out that faux scalp um or that stocking that was under there girl i do have to go in and tint it first thing i did was i used some of my powder and it didn't do any justice so i had to go in with some of my evelyn new york and then after i used that i did have to put the blow dryer on it because sometimes it is a mess as you can see, I do have on a black cap. I'm going to see how it looks with that. I think I ended up taking that off at the end. Um, I just wanted to see how it looked with that. The scalp, once I went in and I used some of that Evelyn New York, girl, it did look just like scalp. Can we give it up for the dark root on this? I love it. So I'm just going through now and I'm going to show you guys how it looks. You do get a lot of parting, so you can do multiple things when it comes to this wig because of all the parting that you get. So what I did is I went in with a little bit of my powder and I wanted it to be like more defined where the lace was. So what I did is I went in with powder and I just parted it in that parting area up top there and then I just went in and um, I put powder because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this. I didn't know if I was going to like pull it up or if I was going to like try to just do something different with it because I'm, I'm kind of tired of just wearing it down. But um, in the end, you can you will see I did wear it down and then uh, I did go in and also pull it up. So I went in and I added that just in case. On to the lace. The lace, um, I did go in and make a couple slits in it. Um, when I cut out that faux scalp, you guys, I ended up putting a hole in the lace somewhere up there. So I did have to go in and put it back together. So I like to show this part. So many people love for me to show how I cut the lace off and they like a little bit more detail. So I always try to get up and up close and personal with this one. Um, so I just was cutting it with these little scissors here and then they was giving me the fit. So I ended up having to go in with my better ones. And then um, I was looking for my eyebrow razor, but I couldn't find it. Girl. So I just went in with that and I um, end up getting it off. Just when you cutting it lace, you know, just make it jagged. And that way it won't look, you know, it won't look too bad. Um, so the ear tabs do come down. You do have to go in and kind of cut up on it. You guys know the struggle with my edges. <laughs> look at me trying to push them back. I'm like, get back, get back. So this came, the, the came the final look for me. Um, I did do some edges on the side. I'm going to go in and spray that just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of lift. You guys know I like that. I feel like I got a big face and I do like it to have a little small lift on the sides and in the front. All in all, it came out really, really cute. You're going to see I did go in the next day. I washed all that Evelyn New York out of it. And then what I did is I went in and I um, pulled it up and I did a little ponytail um, because the hair tangles so bad, which y'all going to get into that right now into my pros and my cons. But this hair is really pretty and wearing it like this wasn't so bad. And as you can see, the colors just fall gorgeous and bad. So stay tuned, you guys. I'm going to give you some pros and some cons. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead on and get into this wig. So the wig we have today comes off from Outre, and it is a Laurel. I will tell you guys I have pros and cons about this wig. Probably the same cons as everybody else here on the YT. So if this is your first time stopping by the channel, thank y'all so much for stopping by. Coming by and get tea. If you subscribe, please consider subscribing to the channel. To my return subscribe to YouTube, babes. Hey, girl. Hey, how y'all doing? So as y'all can see, I went ahead on and tried to do something with Miss Laurel. Miss Laurel is a mess at its best. She does everything you hate in a synthetic wig. And she has, and the only good thing is the parting area. So let's go ahead on and get into pros and cons. Cons of this wig is definitely the shedding, the tangling, and um, 
and that faux scalp. And that's for the faux scalp. We got our own scalp. That's one thing I do have of my own is my scalp. I didn't need a faux scalp. In cutting it out, I did put a hole in the lace. So I did have to get strategic, lay it down, and then spray it so that I could put the lace back together like Humpty Dumpty. That's what you got right here going on. Next thing is going to be after you cut that out, you're going to have to tint it. So I did go in with some of my Evelyn New York and tint it with that. I think it came out pretty good or whatever. Um, I didn't want to have to do too many baby hairs in the front, so I did do them on the side. You probably can go without them. It was just that once I tinted it, I could see the lace. Um, it like I could see the line where the cap previously was. So I don't know if I should maybe put some powder in there or something like that. You know, just trying to work with it. The hair on this tangles, it sheds, it tangles, it sheds, it's shangling. <laughs> Okay, so we can use that word. It's shangling, girl. So you're getting shangling everywhere. Um, and that's pretty much it. It is a long unit, um, so you may not like that. I'm running my hands through it every time I come out with some hairs. I come out with some hairs every single time. The texture on this, you do not get texture. It is slightly silky or just that outre textured hair. You know, we don't know how to explain it. We've been asking. We need to have the FBI investigate. What do we call this? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. So give us the deets. Let us know what texture this is. So it's that outre texture. Um, so that's pretty much it. Pros cap construction fits very, very, very well. Um, you can lay it down really good in the front to get a natural look if you don't want to have to do all these, you know, sides and things like that. I did just like I said, I just felt like I seen that. Maybe it was in my mind, I didn't see it. I don't know, girl. So um the wave pattern on this and the color, I wanted this because I ended up getting this color in um, Seraphine, I will definitely put the video here or, or put the picture here in the video below. Um, I will definitely do that. I got this color in that one and that one there doesn't have as much parting area like this. So I was like, okay, let me see if I can get one with a lot of parting area and if I would like it. Um, like I said, I wish that they just didn't have all this shedding and shangling going on. Other than that, it would be a pretty wig. Um, I think it's just an occasion wig. This one here, I think is in the... 40-ish, almost $50 range. I'm not really sure. I'll leave you guys a Google link below. Um, I didn't put this side down as much as I did this side. I did put this side all the way down um, and then made some edges over here. And I was planning to just comb them out and make it soft. I probably will by the end of the day. I'm about to head out. So other than that, that's pretty much it. Cap construction is very good. If I haven't mentioned that, you know, it is big hair friendly. And you do get that, um, get the two combs, comb in the back. And you do get the um, strap in here. The strap doesn't hold a wig down or anything like that. So I guess it's just there for decoration. It's not really sure. But other than that, you guys let me know what you think. Loving the dark root on this. Again, this color is just the same as Seraphine. If you want something that looks like this, go ahead and get Seraphine in this color. You'll save a little bit of coins um, and you won't have to worry about the shangling. The only thing with that one is it does have a dash of density. It is to lightly thin to some people, so it all depends. Let me know if you're going to pick this one up. Let me know what you think of the color. I've gotten into this browns now. Mm, I didn't even think it was possible, girl. I didn't think it was possible. So I do love it, you guys. Thank y'all so much for stopping by today. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have not subscribed, don't forget to hit the bell, turn on notifications, and go ahead on over to my IG. Help me out. By the end of the year, I'm trying to get to 1K. I think I'm at like 8 something. You guys, go ahead on over there and help me out. Share, comment, like, and subscribe. If you decide to share this video or any of my videos, on social media platform, you know what I'm going to say. Don't forget to tag me in it. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or TikTok. The name is Beauty by Mark. Love you guys so much. See y'all in my next video. Bye.